I asked you to come alone and unarmed. Yeah, well, alone I ain't never gonna do, am I? And as for the cane, don't worry about it. That's just my sciatica. It always plays up around the winter and the summer solstice. What have you got for me, Alfie? What you bring me out here for? It's on the way to someone I need to be in a hurry. Yeah. What have you got for me? Well, seeing as you was prepared to pay such an exorbitant amount with this information, I decided to give you value for money. So, here are the names of all the men in England whom I would approach, right, if I had a Fabergé egg for sale. There you go. And then here's all the men on that list, uh, you know, who would buy the old Fabergé egg, even if they knew that that item was stolen, yeah? And then come your curious fucking Jippo question, I won't ask, but um, there's a list of the men who would buy a Fabergé because of their wives' obsession. Oh, yes. Thank you, Mr. Shelby. It's lovely doing business with you. You left the name off the list, Alfie. Did I? Yeah. I've already spoken to my people in the jewellery quarter, experienced dealers. They tell me there are only three men in Britain whose wives are obsessed with Fabergé and make some good customers. You missed the richest one off the list. Yeah, well, if you knew already, how come you dragged me all the way out in a fucking dog head, mate? Two reasons. Reason one, by withholding a name that you most certainly know, you've proven to me that you've done a deal with the odd fellows. It was you who told them about the tunnel, you who told them about the fucking deal with the Soviets, Reason two, the name of the man that you're withholding must be my enemy, otherwise you wouldn't be protecting him. He's now a man I can use. Listen, sweetie, you can't take a man... You gave information in exchange for the share. Well, he told me there were things in that treasury, right? The God himself, he spoke to me and he said, Alfie, you were meant to have these things. Yeah, you crossed the line, Alfie. You fucking... You walk. crossed the line. The line? They're using my boy! You fucking know. Yeah, I knew, you know, but damned as I am, it made no fucking difference to me, mate. Fuck you, little chubby. Oh, cry that la. The fuck is going on? What is the matter with you, Tommy, hey? Hey, you gone fucking angry, ain't you? You got fucking yeah, angry. You fucking angry. Oh, he's a fucking bastard. He's a fucking He's not. He said you were fucking angry. Oh, this bastard deserves it. I fucking know. But if you kill him now, the truce with the London outfits will be run to fucking pieces, all right? Don't worry about that truth, kid, right? Because it's just it fell apart. You've got nothing to worry about when it comes to the old scary London boys. What fucking side do you want out of here? Give a fuck right now, kid. What? I do not want him to spare me because of some fucking peace pact. I want him to acknowledge that his anger is unfucking justified. I want him to acknowledge that he who fights by the sword, he fucking dies by it, Tommy. Talk to your boy, did they? Yeah? You got your boy? And what fucking line am I supposed to have crossed? How many fathers, right? How many sons, yeah? Have you cut, killed, murdered, fucking butchered, innocent and guilty to sit straight to fucking hell, ain't ya? Just like me! You fucking stand there. You, judging me, stand there and talk to me about crossing some fucking line. If you pull that trigger, right, you pull that trigger for a fucking honourable reason. Like an honourable man, not like some fucking civilian that does not understand 
the wicked way of our world, mate. Look, Ty, the killing of Alfie Solomons is not gonna help. This'll be very bad for business. Uh, Michael? I'll go and call Inspector Moss, tell him it's Palmer. Well said, Alfie. Well said. I did not know about your boy, though. I know. I saw.